But here is a quick view of all the things that we're using today. I have all of my florals. Even though these aren't pink or red like Valentine's, you can see the banner that I'm using has kind of this light pinkish purple. So I thought that would help incorporate some of the color from the living room and tie it into the kitchen. Then I have these beautiful floral arrangements that I made from Dollar Tree flowers. These I showed in my last video. Those are from Hobby Lobby. I got this at Aldi. I'm going to use these signs along with these extra pieces I had left over. And I'm going to decorate my bookshelf. I have these two beautiful vases. And then I'm also using this to help tie in the decor from the banner. This is from Dollar Tree last year. I just love how it's all sparkly. And then I needed some more batteries for my flameless candles. And then these are super cute pillowcases. I just wanted something a little bit different for Valentine's Day. I'd never purchased Valentine's pillowcases. So we grabbed some of those. And if you like these, I'll have them linked down in the description box. I'm using this red blanket that I used at Christmas time. And then I needed a new mop. So I was super excited to try this one out. So we are going to mop the kitchen, get everything fresh and clean, and do some fun decorating for Valentine's Day. What you've been through, why you got scars. The girls were making a fort in the living room, so I just wanted to push the couch back, fold up the blankets, and remove any dishes and food they left in here. And then we are going to start wiping down the shelves. Happy February 1st, everyone. Happy Valentine's Day. Let me know in the comments down below, do you have plans for Valentine's Day? Do you like to do stuff with your kids or your grandkids? Or do you like to plan something with your partner? Do you go all out or keep it low key? Let me know what your plans are. If you haven't seen my last video, I talked about this new scent by Mrs. Myers. I love it, I highly recommend. Some people were wondering where you could grab it. I grabbed mine from a local store, but I think the Grove Collaborative should have it soon if they don't already. But recently, our basement flooded, our sump pump just stopped working. It didn't break, but for whatever reason, it just like stopped. Um, temporarily but it did still cause our basement to flood and we had to completely clean declutter organize that was another reason why I wasn't on YouTube we were really busy doing that but it seems like ever since we did the basement the house has just been so dusty we changed our furnace filter so I'm really hoping that that helps but this spray is definitely a must because everything needs to be wiped down Bianca and I were looking for an urn where we could put Roscoe, our dog that recently passed his ashes in, and I remembered that I had this beautiful ginger jar, so we decided to put his collar, his paw print, she drew him some pictures, his ashes, and I just love that we were able to find something that was like sturdy and that we can put him in there. And then I'm just gonna add in this floral arrangement and our stack of books. Okay guys, I am saying it out loud, so I am forced to do it. I really need to switch out the photos in these picture frames. It has been over like a year and a half, and what better time than right before spring for me to look through all of our family photos and put up some beautiful, bright, cheerful pictures of the kids, of us together as a family, so I need to do it. Within the next couple of videos, make sure I have switched out these pictures, please.
Next, I am putting up another floral arrangement and a clock. And also over the summer, I thrifted this vase and this XO sign I've had for years. I can't even remember where I got it. And now we are going to put up this banner like I showed you earlier. It was a DIY, the heart portion, and then the Happy Valentine's Day part is from Target. Love is like a roller coaster, but I'm trying to hold on. I don't want it to stop. I always hang my banners and then I step back to see if it's even. In this case, it was not, so we are going to adjust the right side and then put up the next one. How do you move on when everything goes wrong? I'm trying to find a way to get you out of my head. Don't know how to cope with being so broken. Girl, I can't forget about what we said. I just want to love you a little bit. This is my first year using red blankets to decorate and I love it. I saw a YouTuber, I can't even remember, I think it was Lauren Yarbrough, but she said um, to purchase you know, Christmas decor with red in it so that it can take you over to Valentine's Day and it was just such great advice. Now I'm using my Mrs. Meyers room spray just to freshen everything up and I actually think that one is the peppermint scent which it actually smelled good with the rose. I was surprised but I didn't get the rose scented room spray so I'm going to have to run back and grab that. Now we are going to vacuum and finish the decorating. I knew for this basket I wanted to use neutral pillows and a blanket because of the banner being so bright but it felt like something was missing so I added these hearts in and I love the way that it turned out. All of my flameless candles were getting a little bit dull, so I decided to switch out all of the batteries just to help brighten everything back up again. So right now I'm going to remove them, add new batteries in, and wipe down the lanterns. I've been dreaming about you Every night I see your clearest day It's just something about the way you make me feel Cause I can't concentrate Anytime you're beside me Yeah, it's what you do to me I can barely breathe For the top of the lanterns, I was trying to decide between something simple or doing like a big bow I decided on these pink and white hearts. I love it. It just gives it something to make them a little bit festive without being too over the top. Now I'm going to pick up all the old batteries and put the setting to candle where it just gives it a little bit of a flicker. I love that setting and we are going to move on to the side chair. I knew I wanted to keep this area pretty simple so I usually will just do like two or three items. We went with this floral arrangement, the gnome sign, and I'm just going to put a candle over here because you can never have enough candles. Mm -hmm. 
I loved this four pack of pillows so much. I got it off of Amazon like I was telling you guys earlier. It was four pillows for like 10 something. So such a great deal. I'll have that link down below in case you are looking for some. And Steven went to go run and grab dinner. So I am rushing trying to get the living room finished so I can start straightening up like our nook table so we have somewhere to sit and eat. So I start this floral arrangement here and then I realize there's no way we're going to be able to see each other when we're sitting down having dinner each night. So this will get moved in a second, but Steven is going to start plating Bianca's dinner and then we're all going to sit down and eat together as a family. It's what you do to me. Ooh, it looks so good. <laughs> Dinner was amazing, but now we gotta finish decorating. These are my Rose Forever flowers. They last one year and they still smell incredible, you guys. You may have seen them for the first time in my Halloween decorating video. I actually think I might try to grab some all white ones for spring, but I love them and I'm using a black vase at the nook table, so I thought that that would help tie in having some black in the living room and then also some black over by the door wall. To make all of the flowers in the house kind of flow nicely, I made this arrangement using a few from each, except for the purple one that you see in the back, and then I added in this little white sign. We're also going to add in a candle, of course candles everywhere, and I originally had this on the gold table like you saw a second ago, but I ended up liking it there better because it looked nicer against the black vase. Now we are just going to fluff up these purple flowers and add a little sign in. Now I'm heading back into the kitchen. I just want to get all of the dishes and dinner put away and get the kitchen cleaned back up. If you have any dishes or laundry that needs to be turned over, do it now. Get up with me. Let's clean something. I love watching cleaning motivation when I am working on my house, so I would love to be that motivation for you today.
If you've made it this far into the video and you are enjoying it, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. It helps my channel so much. And if you are new here, I would love for you to subscribe. Make sure you hit that bell because I'm coming out with new videos each week and I don't want you to miss any of them. Do just what you want. You're the one I trust. I belong, I belong to you. And I always be around when I need some love and baby. And I never let you down. Let you down, let you down. I'm your song. And you're playing all my melodies. There's no one else. Cause baby, we got chemistry. You give me Okay, I'm gonna finish up these last couple dishes and then I'm going to give you a tour of the Valentine's Day decor in the living room. All right, guys, that is it for my living room and all of my Valentine's Day decor. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it gave you some inspiration and motivation. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. Also, subscribe if you are new, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Thanks, guys. Bye.